Hi friends, Michelle here with a Mandala Namaskar practice, which put simply is a, a circular salutation. Yeah, so we're building on um, our fluid sun salutation, Surya Namaskar, um, and allowing it to move, I think a little more freely. Yeah, allowing us to move in a circle. Now, if you think about the way that uh, nature moves and the shapes that nature makes, um, it tends to be more rounded, more curved than straight. Yeah. And so I think sometimes there's value in, in moving that way in our physical practice, rather than just sort of forward and back on the mat, right? Being able to move in a little more holistic, a little more whole <laughs> uh, shape in that way. Mandala is a sacred circle. And often, especially in Buddhism, Hinduism, it's used to represent the universe. And within that circle are symbols. And in this case, as we're making a circle with our movement in our body, then what is contained in that circle, what is uh, representative in that circle is our shapes, right? asana, our yoga poses. So I wanted to offer this as part of our fluid vinyasa basics series because it's something we build upon a lot, this um, ability to travel a little bit more and to move a little bit more freely on the mat. So um, first, I always like to just offer the disclaimer, maybe obvious in this case, um, that we will be moving around the mat and that sometimes we'll be facing um, what is, starts out as the back of the mat, you'll be facing all four sides really of the mat. So just prepare yourself <laughs> for that. Um, and then the, the structure of this practice is we'll start with our basic fluid salutations um, and then add a, a layer so that we can move around in a circle and then add one more layer just to make it that much more fluid, yeah, that much more um, expansive of a circle. Yeah. But we start as always with breath. So find a supported seat. That could be any seat or even lying down for a moment, just giving yourself a moment to tune inward. So you might close your eyes or bring your gaze down low. To really arrive in this moment, to feel your breath move in your body. To find something that feels like a root or a tether that connects you to center, to steadiness, to the earth, So that we can move freely from there. Allow your breath to expand a bit and eventually movement will percolate. And that breath expansion becomes movement Move as ever you need to, whatever you want to stretch or reach or roll around until you move toward a tabletop shape. Allowing yourself to stay connected to that sense of root, that sense of tether, both down into the earth and also in toward the midline, in toward the center of your being, in that place of steadiness. Find a full breath in. Feel yourself extend through your spine as you breathe. And keep all that space as you exhale, clearing out all the way to the bottom of your breath. 
And then as you inhale, begin to lift your tail, lift the back of your skull toward a cow spine. Drawing your hips all the way back toward your heels. And then as you exhale, begin to round, lift your belly, tug your chin, round forward to the bottom of your breath. And then once more, just that. Inhale, drawing your hips back toward your heels. Exhale, lift and round. Inhale, drop back. Round with your exhale. And this is just warming a little through the spine. This next time, tuck your toes, that as you draw your hips back, you could lift them up on Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Soften your knees to give your hips a little more freedom. But hug in through your arms and down through your hands. Find a breath in, extend through your body. And as before, as you exhale, lift through your belly, round forward toward plank. Inhale there, extend through your spine. And then exhale, soften your knees. Inhale is downward facing dog. Exhale, lift and wave forward toward plank. Once more, stay with your inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, draw back. We'll move all the way toward Chaturanga this time. Inhale. Exhale, wave forward toward plank. Stay with your inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat or halfway is chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog, press into the earth to rise out of it. And as you exhale, drop back toward downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out, soften your knees and hop or step to the top of the mat. Press through your feet, inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Ride your inhale to stand. Reach taller, Vahastasana. And bring hands toward heart center. Taking a moment, this first moment standing, to really stand, to root through your feet, to reach through your crown. And in between, just feel your body expand with breath and come back to center as you exhale. Moving toward our sun salutations, root down and as you inhale, reach tall. Exhale to pour forward once again, Uttanasana. From your belly, lengthen your spine, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Rise to stand with your breath, reach tall. Exhale, all the way forward, Uttanasana. One more, just that, that sort of half salutation. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, reach tall. Exhale, pour forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold, rise to stand. Just getting used to your whole body breathing. And when you exhale, pour forward. We're adding in the circle now. So shift your weight to the right. Step your left toes toward the back of the mat. As we practice in our lunging salutation, hug in through your legs and down through your right foot to release your arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana. So we feel this rooting down and reaching up through your thumbs, up through the back of your waist. From here, I wanna keep this lightness in the upper body. All 10 of your toes are gonna to turn to the left, to the long side of your mat. Bend your right knee again and bring your hands down through heart center, skandhasana. Yeah, there's a hug in through your legs, down through your feet, and long through your crown, through your spine. From here, shifting your weight across to the other side, skandhasana. So with that shift, that means if you went way down low and you're hanging out without that hug in, it's gonna be so much harder to get yourself to the other side, yeah? So as you turn into skandhasana, stay light up from the center. 
yeah, and hug in through your legs. We'll shift the weight over to the left, bend your left knee. Now, all 10 of your toes turn toward the back of the mat. Press through your left foot to rise, and Anjaneyasana on the other side. And then circle your arms wide and down to the earth. So we're at the back of the mat now. Root your hands, lift through your belly, and then hug in through your legs. Then a step, your choice, either back toward plank or a three-legged plank where we extend the left leg back and your crown forward. Yeah, breath in where you are. Exhale, lower chaturanga or all the way to the earth. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Use your exhale to find, again, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale there, softening your knees, pulling back. Exhale forward toward plank. Lengthen, inhale. Soften your knees, draw back. Inhale, send your right leg back, long from your center. Lift and round your spine, just like that cat spine, but now you're drawing your right knee in toward your belly, in toward your nose. Look forward to step forward. In our lunge, again, press through your right foot, reach your fingers tall. Begin to turn to the left, so now to the other long edge of your mat. Turn all your toes left, bend your right knee, root down a bit. Shift your weight across to the left, left leg bends. Turn all your toes to the left, to the front of the mat. Again, reach tall crescent lunge. Exhale, circle your hands down to earth. This time, bring your weight forward. Step forward, fold Uttanasana. Yeah, inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Rise to standard Vahastasana. Exhale, pour forward, fold. Now we'll take it to the other side, to the left. Shift your weight left. Step your right toes back. Hug through your legs, down through your left foot to rise. Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. This will be an inhale. Exhale, turning all your toes to the right this time, bending the left leg. Inhale, shift your weight right, bend your right knee. Exhale, turn to the back of the mat. Inhale, rise up Anjaneyasana to the back of the mat. Exhale, circle your hands down to the earth. Hug in, step back to plank or extend your right leg back, three-legged plank. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, drawing back. Exhale, wave forward. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, draw back. Left leg reaches back and up. Exhale, round your spine, pull your knee in toward your nose. Step forward, root your left foot, rise, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, turn your toes right, left knee bend, skandasana. Inhale, shift your weight right. Exhale, turn to the front of the mat. Right foot roots, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, both hands circle down to the mat. Bring your weight forward, step forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, Urdhva Hastasana. This time, just draw hands toward heart center. Pause. A moment to breathe. Now, before we roll through that flow, once more in both sides, I just want to remind you, as always, our uh, vinyasa, the rolling forward to plank, the chaturanga, upward facing dog to downward facing dog, is never necessary. <laughs> yeah, especially when we're in these basic practices and we're doing it over and over. If you want to skip one or all of them 
Anytime that we are stepping back to plank, you could instead step back to downward facing dog. You could stay here as you roll forward and lower to chaturanga, or instead of doing that, from downward facing dog, you could just find that big wave, roll forward to plank, bend your knees, drop back. And then you would just do that again with the rest, with, you know, whoever was going for the chaturanga. And then we would all meet back there. Yeah. So just a reminder that that's always an option for you. And for me too. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to move through our mandala namaskar once again on each side, which really is twice again, right? Because we kind of repeat to come all the way around the mat. Here we go. From Tadasana, rooted through both feet. Give yourself a breath to recenter back into your body. From your feet, reach tall Urdhvahastasana. Exhale to pour forward Uttanasana. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold. Lengthen and shift your weight to the right. Exhale, steps your left toes back. Rise, crescent lunge. Both legs hug in as you reach tall. Keep the hug, turn your toes left, bend your right knee, skandasana. Inhale, shift to the right, press through your palms. Exhale, turn to the back of the mat. Rise, crescent lunge, inhale. Circle your arms wide and down to earth, exhale. Inhale, left leg back, plank or three-legged. Lower to the earth. Cobra or upward facing dog, press down to reach. Downward facing dog together. Soften your knees, draw back, inhale. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Stay with your inhale. Exhale, draw back. Right leg extends to the sky. Use your whole inhale to get there. Exhale, round in to step forward. Rise, crescent lunge, push into the earth to rest. Exhale, all your toes turn left, bending your right leg. Inhale, shift your weight left. Exhale to the front of the mat now. Rise, crescent lunge, arms to the sky. Exhale, both hands down to the earth. Shift your weight forward, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to standard, Vahastasana. Right into the other side, pour forward, fold. Shift your weight left. Step right toes back. Rise, crescent lunge. Turn your toes right, Skandasana, left leg bends. Shift your weight right. Turn to the back of the mat. Inhale to rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, both arms down to the earth. Extend right leg steps back. Lower all the way or halfway or downward facing dog. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, we meet together. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Soften your knees, inhale. Exhale, wave forward through plank. Stay, inhale, exhale, draw back. Use your whole inhale to send your left leg long with intention. Exhale, round, knee toward your chest, step forward. Rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, turn your toes right, left leg bend, skandasana. Inhale, shift your weight right. Exhale to the front of the mat. Crescent lunge, rise. Exhale, both hands down to the earth. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Step forward, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen your spine like your spine breathes in. Exhale to fold. Rise to stand, inhale. Again, exhale, pour forward, fold. Adding another layer of fluidity here. 
Shift the weight to the right again. Step your left toes back. Rise, crescent lunge, inhale. Stay facing this way. Hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Now keep this hinge, this length in your body. Send both arms forward again. So you have this long line from your fingers to your back heel. Keep reaching as you turn your toes left. Right leg is bent, skandasana. So now we're reaching across to the front right corner. Shift your weight across, still reaching. Turn all the way to the back of the mat. Rise, crescent lunge. And again, circle your arms down. So we've just added a little more expansion, yeah? Left leg extends back or steps back toward plank or downward facing dog. Wave forward or lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay inhale, drawing back. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale, draw back, right leg reaches, use the whole breath. Exhale, pull in, step forward. Same thing here, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Keep this line of your body, reach your arms forward. Keep the reach as you turn your toes left. Shift your weight left, all the way around to the front of the mat, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale your hands down to earth. And again, your choice. Shoot your left, or no, sorry. Ooh, got confused. Bring your weight forward. Step forward, fold to nasana. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, breath in, reach tall. Exhale, pour forward. Here we go to the left. Shift your weight left. Step your right toes back. Rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge forward. Sweep your arms back. Keep the long line, reach your fingers forward. Keep the reach, turn your toes right. Shift your weight across to the right. Sweep around to the back of the mat. Rise up, crescent lunge. It'll all start to smooth out a bit as we move both hands down to the mat. Extend your right leg back or step back. Lower down or not. Forward, upward facing dog or cobra. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, breath in. Wave forward toward plank, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw back. Use your whole inhale, the left leg extends back. Use your whole exhale to draw in and step forward. Rise, crescent lunge, big breath. Hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, turn your toes across to the right, shift to the right, all the way to the front of the mat. Rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down to earth. Send your weight forward, step forward. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Ride your inhale to stand. Urdhva Hastasana. One moment, hands to heart center. Pause, breathe. Once again, we'll move through this flow one more time on each side. Give yourself permission <laughs> to be a little less precise, but no less intentional, right? We move with grace, with intention, but releasing some of the rigidity, yeah? Allow it to be a little more of a dance if you can. Here we go. Next breath in. Reach up and out, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Shift your weight to the right. Step your left toes back. Rise, crescent lunge. 
Hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Extend your fingers forward. Turn to the left, sweep across the mat, all the way to the back, rise, crescent lunge. Circle your arms down to the earth. Left leg back, inhale. Exhale, lowering to the mat. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Breath in, press into the earth. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale and plank, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, draw back. Right leg extends back and up. Exhale, curl, knee all the way toward your forehead as you step forward. Rise, crescent lunge. Hinge forward, sweep your arms back. Reach forward, inhale. Sweep it across the horizon. Reach, reach, reach. Shift your weight left all the way to the front of the mat. Rise. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Left foot step or reach back. Lower. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale, wave forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, draw back. Stay, inhale. Stay, exhale, and at the bottom of your breath, get to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, inhale. Once more to the left, dive forward, exhale. Inhale, shift your weight left. Exhale, step your right toes back. Crescent lunge, rise. Exhale, hinge forward. Legs still hug in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, turn to the right. Sweep across the horizon to the back of the mat. Rise, crescent lunge. Circle your arms down to earth. Inhale, right leg extends or steps. Exhale, lower. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale, soften. Exhale, wave forward. Stay, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, draw back. Once more, left leg reaches back and up. Exhale, curl in to step forward. Crescent lunge, rise. Hinge forward, sweep your arms back, legs hugging. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, travel across the mat. Inhale to the front of the mat, rise. Exhale, both hands down to earth. Here we go, bring your weight forward. Step forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands through, heart center, pause. Just as we did in the first moment standing, now in the last moment standing, be here to really stand on purpose. Know that you can be fluid and steady at the same time. Open and breathing, but connected, supported. Stay rooted through your feet. Use an inhale to reach tall, maybe even up and back just a bit. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, let your hips come toward your heels. Your heels will lift at some point, let that happen. Lengthen your spine like your heart's trying to draw forward. And then like a cat spine, curl in. Draw your forehead toward your knees. A little cool down just as we warmed up. Inhale, draw your tail back, your heart forward like a cow spine. Exhale, curl in, navel to spine. Head toward your knees. 
One more time, extend, hips back, heart forward. This time, find the earth with your hips so you can walk your hands back, or you could reach your hands forward to sort of counterbalance, yeah. In any case, hands down or not, press through your feet, lift your heart. And then begin to roll yourself down to the earth. Bring your arms out wide. Again, even down on the earth, trying to allow yourself to be expansive. Walk your feet a bit wider, a bit wider than your hips, maybe even to the edges of the mat. And then we'll find a little sway, send your knees over to the right, send back through center and then over to the left. And this might match up with your breath as you sort of sli slide and sway side to side, or it might not, and that's okay. Just let your breath stay long and open. And the next time you land to the right, just stay there in a bit of a twist. Try to release any effort from here. At least one full breath just here, not pushing or pulling. And then bring some awareness, some steadiness back to center. So you root through your feet and bring your knees back to the ceiling and then over to the left. So again, as much as you can release any effort, just be here. Take at least one breath without effort. Then draw back through center and find any last symmetrical <laughs> shape that you need before you can be still. Yeah, so you might draw your knees in toward your chest. You might draw them wider, find a happy baby pose or send your heels, your feet up to rest on a wall or a couch or a bed or whatever you've got near you. In any case, we're moving toward stillness, which may look for you like Shavasana, right? Laying down on the earth. It may look like a supported seat. A reminder, in whatever your practice may be, to allow yourself this moment of transition, this sort of exhale, to integrate Feel into the sense of support, connection, wholeness. It's a moment to integrate what you, whatever you connect to in this physical practice, to bring it with you into the greater practice of yoga as way of being way of living and moving through the world. I hope that you can stay connected to that sense of fluidity and support. Bring your awareness toward the seat of your heart, whatever feels like heart center to you. It's where we're connected, where we're the same. It's from here, I bow to you with love, with gratitude as always. Thanks for being here, being in your practice and in our community. Appreciate you. Be well. Hey friends, me again. <laughs> I just love being here with you, <laughs> sharing these practices. And I love the sense that we can be in community together, near and far. So do say hi. Let us know where you're coming from. Let us know how you're experiencing these practices and what you want from them. How can we support you? 
And if you want to support us and what we're up to, um, the easiest way is just to like this video, <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Um, it really does help us reach more people and helps make it more sustainable for us to share more with you. Hope to see you soon. In the meantime, be good to each other. Be well.